Well, Honolulu Mayor Rick Blangiardi has until May 4th to sign a bill that would expand the sit light ordinance on public sidewalks in Kapalama. As KITV4's Diana Coe reports, City Council member Tyler Dos Santos Tam says he introduced the bill in part because he's, he's received many complaints from parents about homeless people living near school campuses. Liliha resident Jane Adams walks her nine-year-old son Kai to school in the morning, but on the way to Maemae Elementary, they often encounter houseless people. The people who are here are doing things that kids really shouldn't be exposed to, especially when they're just walking to and from school. She called her area council member a couple of months ago for help. The amount of homeless people in this area has really grown in the last several years, and they've become really brazen. They're openly doing drugs. They're leaving behind biohazards. I've even seen guys walking around with machetes. City Council Member Tyler Dos Santos Tam helped get social services to relocate the homeless, but that was short-lived. They've been back, um, and they've kind of just relocated to underneath where the stream is. Dos Santos Tam says this is a chronic issue. There are several uh, homeless encampments around schools in my district. Uh, Farrington High School had an encampment between the school and the freeway, um, which was able to be cleared out. In Palama, around Kailani School, there is a very persistent encampment um, one block away, and that one has had drug arrests, uh, you know, gambling, prostitution. The state education department says this happens on occasion and is, quote, usually resolved after a police response or social services cleanup is conducted. School staff are vigilant for potential security issues. The DOE says Superintendent Keith Hayashi submitted testimony this year supporting a city council resolution to make sidewalks around school campuses safer. Bill 3 passed on Wednesday and is now at the mayor's office for his signature. All nine city council members voted yes on expanding the sit lie bill. Council member Val Okimoto told KITV4 they did that in reaction to this concern. Council members Augie Tulba and Matt Weyer agree this is a problem. Adams says this isn't about criminalizing homelessness, but... Kids should feel safe, especially when they're walking to and from school or at school. Diana Ko, KITV4 Island News.